You know you fucked up when the person you hated on for years is calling you a retard and people agree more with her than you. What in God's name are you doing? Back off, you crazy bitch! Please give me huggy wuggies. Ooh what the fuck are you saying? Pounces on you. How could this happen to me? Made my mistakes, got no hair to cut. Var, X3, what's this? A oh, wool? Notices your bulge. <gasps> Let's have a little look to here. I wish I stayed home and played the new Call of Duty. This is so not cash money! The rant community is like a middle school kid hiding in their pillow fort, making fun of everyone else. They will tell you how to feel, how to think, and how to act without you ever really knowing who they are until it crumbles whether it's just on its own they knock it over themselves or someone gets pissed and turns into a character from rampage they are not much better than the people that they make fun of or criticize do you need examples that aren't from our tiny little sped community ask the big brain skeptics like soy goon of a cuck uh, so, uh, how's the the deplatforming going, Sargon? Pretty good. <laughs> I, I don't know why are you why are you using the tactics of the people that you bitch about all the time and uh, make money off of. About today. I, I, I like your I'm... damage control today, by the way. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I thought it was brilliant going on your stream yeah. and admitting Thank that you. Andy Worski was correct when he said you dox young boys on Facebook. That's really. <laughs> Is there, a, okay. is there a joke or banter here? I'm waiting for your hot take. I'm waiting for you. You're the, you're the, you're you've the, you're had the, five years preparing with SJWs. Where's, Jim, the, the, where's the fire, there. Carl? Mm -hmm. you're yeah, you're, 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 you are brilliant, Carl. I mean, yeah. it's great that you just show this off, going after kids yeah. on Facebook, trying to get yeah, Andy taken off because he makes fun of you. I'll retweet something and get you off the internet, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Anita had done that, you'd have made 18 <laughs> videos about it and cried on Rogan for an hour and a half. Yeah. I don't know what you're it's laughing about. You. I don't know what you're laughing you about. Like, you've, you've been called out. You've been caught you doing the shit. You you've been caught doing joking. the shit you co you've accused other people of doing for years. Yeah. You fucking faggot. You tried Jim, to deplatform people. Jim, I'm gonna shut down. You tried to deplatform people, Carl. There's no way around it. That's what you did. You don't even know what I'm gonna retweet. You tried to get out your channel. You tried to get people taken off of YouTube. Yeah. You're a fucking pussy, Carl. Trying to take people's channels out because they make fun of you. What a pussy yeah. you are. You're no different than Anita. I keep telling you're no you're different next. than Anita, Carl. You're the same. I think thing. I might. Uh, I mean, I think I'm the same uh, live thing, reporting Carl. your Sunday stream. How should I? Should I do that? Oh, you can try again if you can get the audio to work. Yeah. You dumb fuck. Or mundane flag it. I, I'm, I want to just <clears throat> throw out some names. You tell me if you flag them or not. Uh, Dami Pesos. Nope. Yeah, and, and not just on YouTube, but he put a YouTube video out that went down when he tweeted about it and called you a faggot. That instantly went down. You didn't do it on Twitter either. I do. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I am is reporting. But nothing, but nothing on that. Yeah, wait a minute. Nothing on that. That's just. What the fuck? So, I have been in a not the best place mentally. Now, wait a minute, Matt. No! With YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider installing fucking adblock. Mundane Matt got my YouTube and Twitter flagged, so I'm stealing his stick. And I'll do it better. No soy, no fat, no filler. Yeah, I got a problem with Matt Jarbo. False flagging son of a bitch. He false flags people all the time. He doesn't have a penis. He's got a vagina full of soy and hurt feelings. I think he's a fat sack of shit who mistakes having facial hair as a chin. Welcome to the Soyless Mask Show. Show. People false flag you? Try to sabotage your livelihood? You hate that stuff, don't you? Well, yeah. Why don't you just do it to others? What could go wrong? It goes without saying that ranters and commentators, which are basically the same thing, are usually not much different from the people they call out. And it seems like every once in a while, a new person in the community gets fucked. Idubs is a more recent example. Content Cop is now Content 
cock. Despite him being a feared force that could kill the reputation of any YouTuber, just ask Leafy. But over the years, I've become accustomed to this song and dance, and I'm now almost always expecting my favorite YouTuber, or someone closely associated with me, is going to make an ass out of themselves at any moment, or someone will do it for them. The old saying is just true, never meet your idols. Even on YouTube, this statement holds weight. How can this happen? We're a bunch of nobodies making videos to share with others. Most of us don't even have mansions or Lamborghinis. What is happening here? Well, lucky for us, we have a savior. Somebody who isn't a total arrogant idiot with fame and power coursing through their veins. Ladies and gents, I present to you the Messiah, Sonic93. Just a normal girl making videos, calling out things that need to be fixed. No screws missing. All sense, no bullshit. Um, I guess to move on to the next question now, um, how long has Ruth's obsession been with Silver, and were there any signs slash red flags you noticed early on? I remember, like, two instances. The first one that comes to mind is, like, uh, we were actually in a, doing a video call at the time, so... She she was wearing makeup. She actually said to me, D "Do you think Silver would like it?" What? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, whoa! <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's a fake I've, character. Oh yeah, baby, let me see your makeup. I'm a fake fictional hedgehog. <laughs> So who is this cute little YouTuber and her delicious little channel? Well, she's a member of our rant community with a YouTube channel with almost 14,000 subscribers. She's a pretty big channel on YouTube. You might say 14K isn't a lot, big fucking deal, but you have to understand the rant and commentary community. Our reach and our quality, most of us in the community, don't have very high quality videos. We generally don't have good edits, if any. The audio sounds like ASS! We have no promotion, we can't write scripts to save our lives, and we do things in one take, and we ramble without much conclusion. But Ruth is different. Ruth started her rant career on the most serious business back in 2007 to 2013. Sanic Fiends. Because, as we all know, Sanic is serious business. But she really took off when she made a video about a particular Sanic Fiend. Akaya Dahlia. She was a pretty popular target due to her uh, devotion to her Mary Sue pairing with Sanic and her very poor attitude and ungratefulness with others and their efforts. Nothing is worse than those who take others for granted, never listen to feedback, and are unhinged and delusional. I hate people like that. What would happen is uh, the, around the time where I was, I didn't get time enough to talk to her as often as I used to like with because I had gotten busy with real life and stuff so I didn't get to talk to her every day what would happen was um I would get to talk to her again and it was a very common thing for her to f pretty much just force me to stay up like way late into the night just to talk to her because like i said in the previous part uh our time zones are massively different so nighttime for me means morning for her and so i was pretty much forced very often to stay up like late into the night for my time because she just wanted me to talk to her and if I showed signs of being tired, she didn't like it. If I was saying that I was tired, she'd be like, well, you know, you know, don't you dare sleep now because if you leave, then you're going to take forever to come back. Me being the person who is just too nice, I didn't want to set her off, so 
I had to force myself to stay up. And I want to say the latest she kept me was maybe around maybe six or six thirty in the morning. Uh, I almost, I actually almost passed out a couple of times because of this. She didn't, she, even then, she still wouldn't let me go to bed most of the time. Ruth made her video less than 10 minutes. Pretty decent, you know, size, I'd say. However, she wasn't satisfied, and she couldn't hold it in anymore. So she made another video. And another. And another. And another. And another, and another, and another. Totaling almost four hours, all in the span of a single year. But don't go thinking Ruth is some overly obsessive little girl, because she clearly isn't. <laughs> she isn't just a one-trick pony, she also went after another person. Yoshi We Won. I don't really know anything about this guy, to be honest. I mean, do you really care about this? Because I really don't. All you need to know is that Ruth made like two videos on this guy, and they total about two hours. Ruth's channel really took off. And before she knew it, she got a very sizable channel and fan base loyal to her content. I mean, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Sonic 93. I'm not I'm not kidding around. I have all of her merchandise. I have my Sonic 93 hat, I got my Sonic 93 balloon, I got my Sonic 93 t-shirt, and I even have Sonic 93 brand underwear. They're women's, but I, I mean, it's whatever. Nothing could go wrong for her. She's a little bit of a hothead, and she kind of gets annoyed a little bit easy, but you know, it's whatever. No one's without their flaws. All is sunshine and rainbows from here. No, uh, the other one that comes to mind was, like, I don't know if you were watching her content around the time where she entered her, her Raphael. There. So, yeah, uh, it was during her rap phase, and, you know, she was talking about, like, she decided that she's a Raphael fangirl now, and she doesn't like it, but she, I guess, likes it. I don't know. Uh, she was talking about it, and she looked at me, and she was like, Hey, d do you think Silver would think that I'm cheating on him? <laughs> that's like, what? That's oh, like, what? Or like, soon, like, yonder or some <laughs> shit. So Ruth decided she was going to make her next big slam dunk. Her next video, it's gonna be good. She's been expanding her channel. She's got a she's got a new little blue Yeti microphone. She's got uh, she's got better thumbnails. She's her audio so much better because of her new mic and her avatar is different. And she's going through changes. Everything is gonna be good. She makes a new video. It's gonna be a slam dunk. Another job well done. Views and subs for the taking. With her rage techniques, she'll amuse everybody. Besides, that's why most people watch her stuff, right? I mean, that's why people like ranters in the first place, is to see them get mad at stuff that just irritates them, because they want someone to rally up behind, right? So, what could possibly go wrong? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. That doesn't look good. How could this be? She does what she always does. What could cause all this to happen? We'll have to dissect this video to- Damn it! It's gone! Well, we need to find a way to view this video. Uh, I see this fine lady made a commentary on it. Kali, let's take a look and see what happened. He was too optimistic. Not to mention that annoying voice. So... Again with the whole, because the game was rushed, I'm blaming on Silver's horrible debut. Yes, and that's perfectly fine. Silver's gameplay was significantly slower and more tedious than the other characters' gameplay. I mean, isn't that what it's usually getting you into liking a character in the first place? And I'm just so low while he's not saying 
a why Silver is a good character, or why Silver is his favorite character. Yeah, 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 R R R Ruth. R Ruth, um, I, I don't know if you saw the title of the video, but it was mostly about complaining about Sonic games and wh why the characters are handled so poorly in the story. I happen to find another fan, or worse, even supposedly a silver fan gal on DA from this poster who was stating a similar opinion. But the thing is, it's even worse than the guy from YouTube. <laughs> because she just kept going on and on on how she finds Silver annoying and fucking annoying. So we're not allowed to address if a character is annoying or not. And she's supposed to be a. Who the fuck are you to judge who is and who isn't a fangirl of your favorite character? Did you honestly just make this video to gatekeep other Silver fans from having different reasons for enjoying the character? Or are you that protective of your fictional husbando? I didn't force her, but, you know, I just kindly suggested, you know, hey, maybe you should take a look at it just to see where Alduin is coming from because... I'm pretty sure she wasn't the only one with the thoughts that all the one had. Kind of look at it a bit, just see where other people are coming from, basically. You know, I suggested that and I was like, you know, don't get the wrong idea. I'm still neutral in this situation. I'm on nobody's side here. I'm just trying to see it both ways because, you know, I, I see where all the one's coming from and I don't want people to think that about it, it was weird because I, I wrote, it, it was a super long thing that I wrote to her. So like when I had come back, she, I don't know if she didn't read the full thing at first cause it was pretty long, but she was, just sounded like she was okay with it. Like she thought it was reasonable. I come back later and it completely changed. Like she was really angry you're siding with some stranger over me just because of some troll video and and even though i told her many times like i'm on nobody's side here i'm neutral i'm not on alduin's side i'm on nobody's side but i guess because i was mentioning some points that alduin brought up in her video i guess she didn't like that she was uh angry she was calling me a uh, backstabber she Damn. was saying that she was saying like oh i can't believe you would do this i thought you knew me better than that you're you're a backstabber oh i can never trust you again she told me that that i screwed up big time by doing this you know she actually said like you know i'm gonna need a few days to I'm going to need a few days to th really think about this because I'm thinking about ending our friendship. Yeah, uh, obviously this really upset me and I'm, I'm, I'm pleading, I'm begging her, like, don't do this. I'm sorry. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to upset you like this, but you know, she still debate about that, about really ending our friendship. If you don't let me ask at this point, like just just as a reminder for everybody watching, how long have you two been friends at this point? Ten years or so. I, I think we like, maybe uh, more. We did the math. It was like eleven years, right? Because you've known her since you were thirteen. Right. So, and she wanted to end that long of a friendship over a disagreement of some points she made on a video. This is this is embarrassing. I. Uh, Fuck. Well, that didn't go so good. What happened? So, uh, I guess we really have to take a look at this from a different standpoint. I see what's... Let's just see what's wrong for ourselves, I guess. But, I guess if I had to describe it like this, here's what I, I guess I would say. 
from that perspective. Ruth's panties got so bunched up over some criticism of a character she likes that she didn't even realize how weird or petty she looked over her arguments. She's pulling the no true Scotsman fallacy by saying only true silver fangirls won't criticize their favorite thing. Th this isn't right. I mean, I talked so highly of her. How, how could she do something so silly and cause all this drama? It, it isn't warranted. What was to be gained? No, she, she wouldn't. She wouldn't make a video calling out some pretty much innocent people to stick her fans on, on them to lash out at them, right? No, 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 no. That, that can't be. She, she wouldn't do that. Well, hopefully she'll learn from this. I mean, hey, look, she's got a new video out. Maybe she'll clear this up. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, I am not gonna lie, I am incredibly nervous right now because what I am about to talk about is very important and it's regarding of what has happened the past half year ago, or basically what happened half a year ago. So uh, I made a video called Sarnai 3 is not amused with the Silo fan base. And that video got negative respond, and to put it in short of why, it was because of the way I portrayed it myself, and I'm going to be honest, in the beginning, I had no idea of why, because I was thinking, all I'm doing is saying, <clears throat> sorry, all I'm doing is saying my opinions, I don't see what the big deal was. And she's supposed to be a silver fan girl! Oh, please! And for those who don't know what the video was about, I was basically talking about two people who were saying their opinions about Silver, and they 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 did it in a way that I I felt I was really worked up by it. Not because it was different opinions from mine. No, of course not. Everyone is entitled for their own opinions, obviously. And all of a sudden, she shows up online while I'm talking to him, and. I don't remember what she said. I think she said, call me or something. Like, I don't remember how it started, but um, we were starting a voice call and Gmod muted himself. As soon as I hit the button to answer the call, as soon as, as, soon as I could hear, the first thing I hear is screaming. And she's screaming, and she's back to calling me a backstabber, and you know, going on how she can't trust me or whatever. Like it's it bad. Like the way she was. Like you know how she screams in her videos. Like. And she's supposed to be a silver fan girl. Oh, Imagine that, but worse and more more angry. Right, like, it, it, it kept going on and on. No matter what I said, like, nothing was making her stop. Like, she just kept on, she kept screaming and screaming and screaming and insulting me. And, uh, you know, saying she can never trust me. Like, oh, you, you screwed up big time. How could you do this? You messed everything up. Like... It actually got to the point where she sent me into a massive panic attack. And I was at this point where I just wanted everything to stop. I wanted her to stop. I wanted her to stop yelling. Like, I was... I couldn't even speak. Like, that's how bad it was. So I, I had to type. I had to type... You know, I was I was begging. I was saying, I'm so sorry. I was saying, I shouldn't have done this. I... You know, I was saying anything I could to make her stop, pretty much. But it wasn't working. She wasn't having it. You know, at, at, the, at the very end, like, you know, when she finally stopped screaming, she was still angry, but she stopped screaming. Uh, she ended the friendship right there. She said, I can never trust you again. She just said goodbye and shut the call off. Uh, I was 
I was still a I was still a mess when she shut that call off. I could barely get any sleep that I I'd imagine I'd imagine like shit. Well, she's apologizing. She's fixing the problem. She's saying ah. yes. I'm not in the wrong, but you know, why does it sound it just it just kind of sounds like she doesn't really know what she's apologizing for. Is that just me? Maybe, maybe it's just me. Well, I will tell you this. I'm gonna keep a bit of an eye out on Sonic 93. She can't make a silly mistake like this again. I mean, come on, we all make mistakes. I mean, this, this isn't anything new. Everyone's been in some hot water every now and again. Nobody's perfect. This can't happen again. For what reason? Just for like, just for taking you? Uh, when when we first got together, like she was actually cool with it, and like it it was all good. Like they they didn't talk too much, but they did a few times here and there, and you know they got along fine. They were it was fine. Like Gmod even supported our friendship. Like I thought it was all good, but then later on she started like. She started accusing me of, like, spending more time with him than her, and I, she was accusing me of replacing her with him. She just, out of nowhere, just started hating him. Ruth apparently at one point had an ex. Uh... Do you have any details on that, and if he if he had anything to do with that? Oh boy, um, y yes, kind of. Thing with those two, their whole relationship in general, it was like it was a completely different rabbit hole compared to this one. Like, I don't want to say this guy's name because I don't want people to try tracking him down because for all I know he could have completely moved on from this by now and is doing other things in his life so I don't I'll, I'll just keep him anonymous I don't know how they met and how they became friends and everything there were times where he he was kind of like he acted kind of creepy i'll just say one of the major things about him at the time was he was a giant fanboy of blaze the cat oh mm -hmm. yeah like he i have no idea how he is now about it but when i witnessed him he was obsessed with blaze and he was very perverted towards blaze Silver, I had one more question for you before our interview is done. Okay, Aubrey, go right ahead. Okay, um, I was wondering, uh, back here, are you still a virgin in this little hole? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I still haven't lost my anal virginity. So, um, so, um, how about we, I just stick my penis right up in there and, uh, how about we just get it on, Silver, uh, you know, like, uh, how about we just get it on and, you know, let me just stick my penis in there. Well, Aubrey, if you really want to, it, it, it's fine with me. Go right ahead. So, um. Ah. So, um. Ah. So, um. Yeah. So, um. Give it to me. So, um. Yeah. So, um. Aubrey. So, um. Yes. Uh, she did, around this time, she had multiple guy friends, and they were all fanboys of Blaze. But... He was the one that really stuck out the most, I guess, because of how she was with him. She would say, like, they all worshipped her like a goddess, and that she was perfect and everything. <sighs> what a great day. You know what? Let's go to YouTube and let's go watch some videos. 
There's my subscriptions. Mm. Ooh, Sonic93. I got a notification from her. Ah, let's take a look at her. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is she doing this? Why can't she just let this go? It's been almost a year. She's apologized and everything went on like it was over. A and here we are. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe she has some decent points. It can't be that bad. It can it? Hmm. Oh, that, that dislike ratio is pretty high. But I mean, there's some there's some likes here. I mean, this this is there's still some hope. This can't be all bad. Why don't we watch a little bit and see what's up? Now you might wonder why am I making a video about it when a topic died and I already apologized for it? Well, the thing is, I never really discussed what really happened for a lot of reasons. I mean, I did explain my intentions and such on the apology video, but not really what happened beforehand. One of the biggest reasons is that I got lack of, if not even any, support from Amy, which caused the drama to escalate without a proper solution. It was getting out of hand and the drama was incredibly unnecessary kind of look at it a bit just see where other people are coming from basically as soon as i hit the button to answer the call as soon as as soon as i could hear the first thing i hear is screaming well i mean you could basically say the same thing about bringing it up again even though it was already over and what was that you said about amy chan that she's not backing you up so let me get this straight. You have to have somebody else get your back against somebody else. That's that's insanely cowardly. I mean, does she have to feed you as well? Does she have to wipe your ass for you? I mean, come on, can't you be independent? Is it really that hard? So it was really hard for me to figure out what to do with the situation without the support I truly needed back then. Uh. Yeah, I have a recommendation. Move the fuck on! But, ever since around the beginning of 2019, after creating a Discord account, I invited three friends of mine who will collab with me on this video to talk more in details about what happened. They have truly been there for me and supported me. They were truly understanding, open-minded, and knew that these rant views about me were very off. You need three people to defend you against a 15 year old really i'm a cute little bunny rabbit <laughs> so you need three people to wipe your ass for you that's kind of overkill <laughs> oh. and this video would never have been created if it wasn't for their encouragement so come along and introduce yourself to the audience guys hey guys it's me mini the mini I've been a huge fan of Sonic 93 for a long time, and I feel bad for not helping out or not being there for Sonic 93 in the past. But I'm here now. Also, I didn't do it originally because the rant videos kind of convinced me to not believe in Sonic 93, but after I talked with Sonic 93, I see what really happened, and now I'm here to defend her. Well, I gotta ask you something real quick, my dude, before you go out and fight the good fight for your precious queen. How does it feel to be so fucking gullible and so much of an ass kisser that you would just willingly, you would willingly believe what she tells you and then just go along with it and then openly say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend you, my queen. I'm gonna protect you from those mean, nasty critics. The, the thing, the, the, the situation that happened with Draco and Minnie. I don't know if you heard about that one. I know about that one, yeah. Just for the audience at home. What happened was, uh, very recently it was revealed that Ruth had essentially been, had essentially verbally abused, like, two 15-year-old boys 
for talking to Boxo Fox without her permission. No, mi what? No, Minnie. Minnie was fifteen. Uh, Draco is in his thirties, I believe. Oh, I did not know about that. Hi everyone, I am Super Sprite sixty five, but most people just call me Sprite. As you probably know, I'm the guy who made Sonic Night Three sprites. Now, about this video that Sonic Night 3 made. To be honest, I didn't really find it that offensive that people would attack her for it. It seemed a bit like the Amy Rose video to me, just talking about people's opinions on a character that didn't make sense. And Sonic Night 3 would just critique it. That's basically all it was. There was no reason to get upset over it. Now, since Sonic Night 3 has removed the video, I can't remember much of it. But I do remember the video wasn't that bad as people felt. So after a while, when I was getting in touch with Sonic Night 3 and making her talk sprites, I was on YouTube one day to find a video on her titled, Death of Sonic 93. I was kind of surprised by this. Now, I didn't watch the video because lately with rant videos like that, it would always make me annoyed or upset due to how these new YouTubers act in their videos. But that's for another time. So here we have retard number two. So, you didn't even bother watching these videos that were very critical of Sonic 93 and all of her bullshit. Even though you said that you didn't even remember the video in the first place, except you thought it wasn't that bad. And you are completely willing to listen to what Ruth tells you and completely ignore the other side, just so you can stick up for her. Bravo. Possibly in this rant series, I'll bring up the topic again. So, I went to her DM on why there's a rant video on her. She explained it was the situation and linked me the video where she apologized. After I saw the video, we discussed it a bit and then she told me more details that she didn't share in public. And eventually, she asked for my Discord because she needed to talk to someone after everything that happened, especially since Amy wasn't around to support her. So I gave her my Discord and we talked ever since. And now I'm here to give my fully support and proof on what happened last year that wasn't what it seemed like. Well, sorry to say, homeboy, but judging by the way this video is rated, it looks like that proof and her testimonies, her one-sided testimonies, weren't enough. And now you look like a fucking idiot. Nice job. No. I know some people have asked about this, and this is kind of a long discussion. But let's discuss Super Sprite. I, I have to go over the whole story for the audience. So a Sonic 93 White Knight, or perceived as one, and everyone was like, Sprite's a White Knight. Eventually he came into Ghosty's stream with me. I was kind of talking shit to him in the, in the text chat, and then I joined the stream. I start talking about shit, Sprite joins in, and we get a debate going, and then uh, Sprite starts crying in the debate stream, and we're like, hey... You know what? This guy's just a kid. You know, we're we're gonna give him the benefit of the, of the doubt, and so we we let him in, and then he spies on calls and sends them sends them to people, and starts making videos on people, and then we call him out again, and then very recently it turns out that he blocked Sogany Three, has been talking to people like me, Sage is lazy, and I believe Box of Fox as well. So essentially, he's went from White Knight to Redeemed back to White Knight, then redeemed again even more this time. Which is like, it's so comp- it's so complicated. Hello there everybody, I am Draco Charizard 87 but you can just call me Draco. You may not know me, but I'm a long-time user on DeviantArt. I've been a fan of Sonic 93 since 2014, and even though I've commented on a few of her videos, I mostly keep in touch with her on Skype. At first, I didn't think about joining in this rant because I'm pretty much on the shy side, but after some discussing with Sonic Knight Frey about the arguments made by Melody Sugarplum and Aldwin Gajenka, as I've heard a lot about this incident that recently took place, I've considered it since she convinced me that I made some valid points that debunk what they say. This should be very interesting. Without question, why would Sonic 93 lie to you? Why would she need three idiots to defend her honor? from this evil, evil, manipulative, manipulative little liar. Come on. Come on. 
So, this is what happened after uploading the video. It didn't get much attention until around one month later, it got extremely backlashed because of things like, Oh my god, you're tagging some of our Tiffany Binion! She's only 15! And honestly, I don't even know if that's her actual age, but I'll get to that later on. She did nothing wrong! You should have censored her! You're bullying her! You're becoming what you ranted about! Etc. Etc. You get the point. Yeah, that's right. Ruth is a good girl. She didn't do nothing wrong. She's completely fine and totally, totally sane and with plenty of screws in place. What? No, Minnie, Minnie was 15. Uh, Draco is in his 30s, I believe. But Draco and I Minnie... I think he was just trying to figure out what was going on, but, right. but I don't, I'm not too confident about that yet. But Draco, Minnie, and Sprite collaborated with Ruth before, and Draco and Minnie were ones that were verbally abused by her for by talk for talking to Box of Fox without her permission. You know, Sprite was the one who he found out about this and he immediately went to Ruth to basically tattle on them like they were kids. I remember like I've witnessed the events of him like blocking Ruth. I was in a call there was a call on Sage's Discord server where it was her, Sprite, me, Box, and a bunch of other people. I left right before he blocked Ruth, but like I have trouble thinking that he was in genuine because I have talked to the guy. I think the thing is, from what he's told me and from the screenshots I've seen, Ruth has been just as emotionally manipulative towards him, if not more to him. To quote Sprite, he said that she made him feel special. I think the thing is that Sprite is way too innocent to determine what's right or wrong. Yeah, I was going to mention that it's very clear that I'm I'm sorry but it it looked like she was just using him. He's very uh childlike minded or child minded, you know. Like It's cute. It's really this... adorable. Like Yeah, like that's that's I think like you know, with going back to how Ruth was with him, it just gives me this vibe that she knew that he was like that. So she went in and took advantage of that. The evidence that he gave and seeing what she was saying to him and all the guilt tripping, it was it was disgusting. Like I've seen some of the screen I haven't seen all the screenshots, but I've seen some of them and I saw like one or two and I'm like it's fucked up. And some people, I don't know if it was you or someone else, but some people, someone was like, have you heard the voice files? And I'm like, no, I haven't. And they told me... Oh, the they're, they're, they're rough. They were rough. I still haven't listened well, to them. I, I'm sorry, because uh, I don't really know much about it. What are the voice files? Um, I, I, Sprite posted some voice files in his server. Was it between him and Ruth, or was it just of him? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure about the context, but I think it was like he did something that made her really mad at him, and I'm guessing she was refusing to talk to him for a while, and it was really messing him up, and he was desperate to uh, get her to talk to him again, so he had recorded these. Uh, voice files and I mean he sounded really hurt in them I he just was desperate to make her come back I've heard like he five sounded really crushed I've heard like five seconds of one voice file and I'm just like yeah I can't fucking do this I'm not it's just too much emotionally like that would like yeah like just sitting there and listening to those it it really reminded me of how I was with her. Yeah, it's just way too real and it's way too close to home. Yeah, so I can relate to him in that regard. Because mm -hmm. I got the exact same way with her.
Wow. Wow, that, uh, that... <coughs> that was... That was horrible. I... I can't, I can't believe this. She sounds... In, insane. I, I thought she was... She was different, but... Uh, she's... She's... No. No, 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 no. She, she's not like that. No. Uh, how could this be any worse? Oh boy, okay. Well, that was a hard... That's kind of a hard pill to swallow or even just think about. I can't, I can't do this. I, I'm done. How can this... How could this get any worse? Well... <clears throat> well... It's been a little while. I wonder how Sonic 93's been doing. I mean, she's probably learned her lesson and stopped. She can still redeem herself. It's it's not impossible. I know deep down that she can fix this and everything can go back to normal, right? Well, you know what? No more talk. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, great. She hasn't learned anything. Well, let's see how- WHOA! Oh my god, that's really bad! Wow, uh... Let's... let's see how this went. This can't be... Uh, may maybe it's just like a hate brigade. Or something. I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna rip your fucking spine out, I swear to god. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part of the mini rant series regarding of justifying myself of the drama last year. If any of you have watched the previous part of the series, I recommend you take a look at it before moving on to this one. Also, big thanks and credits for the amazing intergoes to Mini the Mini, who will join us next time when we talk about Dumbsville. <laughs> Now, before I'm gonna say my opinions towards this horrendous joke of a video, let me just say that before the video was even made, she was acting such a troll by saying stuff like, So is that fucking real? With a long of wink smiley faces on my community section two or three times. In other words, REALITY BAD! KEEP THAT AWAY FROM ME! Sadly, I can't provide evidences because I consider and still consider her as a troll and didn't want to give her my reaction as she obviously wanted or expected me to give. No! Ah, reality bad, He-Man! Ah. It has got to be one of the worst videos I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> sure. And I'm not even exaggerating when I'm saying this. I am dead serious. I mean, seriously! How can you expect me to take this as critique? Yeah, yeah, yeah. R Ruth. R Ruth, um, I, I don't know if you saw the title of the video? But it was mostly about complaining about Sonic games and wh why their characters are handled so poorly in the story. It, it wasn't it wasn't a video praising Silver's personality and what they like about him. And she does that throughout the whole video. It was really hard to sit through. That's cute. You'd say, Ruth. I can barely. <laughs> the first time I fucking watched this video, I couldn't sit through the first two minutes. This video is an hour and 20 minutes long. You have no fucking room to talk. It was so offensive. <laughs> ah, that fucking hurt. Oh. What? What? Oh, fuck me. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
not worthy of my or anyone else's time to watch for that matter. And it was literally 44 minutes of blah 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 <laughs> my throat hurts and my mind hurts. Uh. Wow, hey, look, you guys, the sun's rising. And I definitely will never understand how so If the video was supposed to be the source of what I did wrong, for anyone who doesn't know what's going on, why do you feel entitled to act like you're better than me? If you're going to call someone out, you have to reason with them, give them constructive criticism, not attack or harass them, and most importantly, have proof of their behavior. That's what I did with my Kai Dilia and Yoshi Wan rants. Yeah, your one-sided bullshit that got three other idiots to fall for it. I mean, let's be honest, who are you who would you rather listen to? Who would you rather believe? A mental defective that obsesses over a fucking fake chrome painted rodent. Or would you rather listen to You know what? Never mind. And Aldo Gijinka did nothing of that sort. Her video literally made me look like the bad guy without proper evidences, and even though she had so-called proof. They weren't actual proof, and her arguments were very weak, very insulting, and very repetitive. I don't understand for the life of me how this video got so much attention and was the source of this whole drama. And I definitely will never understand how someone I thought would believe my words over some garbage of a video and genuinely give me constructive criticism and how bluntly belittle me and act like I did everything wrong that is somehow justifying how the video was made. God, can you taste the sweet corn and the E. coli in the back of your throat? Again, how am I supposed to Bro, take it as someone who is trying to quote-unquote <laughs> help me? Or so-called no, no, save no, no. my mistakes when all you do no. is target and sound like a child who controls everything? You gotta be fucking kidding me. She... She said that? That's something Akaya would say. I can't tell if they're trolling. You mean bringing you back down to reality? That your trash tier waifu isn't as good as you think he is? What the fuck is wrong with you? I I can't I can see why this video has so many damn dislikes. I I think I'm done. I, I I think I'm I think I'm done here. I watched the video that commentator made. I would agree with her more than I'd listen to your mentally disabled ass. And what's this? Dumbsville? But But hold on, he's one of your fans. He was inspired by you. What's going on? What does he have to say? Hey everyone, uh, this is a video that I never wanted to make, ever. This is a video on the Sonic 93 situation, and my thoughts and perspective and experience dealing with all of this. A couple months later, I eventually discovered that Alduin Gajinka video. And as someone whose channel was heavily inspired by those Akai Dahlia and Yoshiwi One rants by Sonic93 and Amy Chan, this video really shocked me and really made me question myself a lot. So anyways, after that, I made my video on Sonic93. And it's personally a video that even after all this time, I'm still really proud of it. However, it was a really hard video to make emotionally. I vividly remember tearing up when beginning editing of it. However, I think it was a video that was needed for me to make. Um, was because I knew that somehow one of my idols would eventually come to hate me after the video. 
And I guess that did end up happening, but I didn't expect it to happen so late and so randomly. Bring up drama that I've already gotten over nearly 10 months to a year ago. So I ended up contacting her about this, asking her personally on Discord, why do you think this is a good idea? I actually have the DMs saved onto my computer and I will be putting them below in a Google Drive file. I will read them out, but for anyone who wants to look deeper into them, to anyone who wants to make a video involving them, to anyone who wants to archive them, to anyone who wants to do something like that, you are free to do so. But most importantly, come up with your own perspective. Obviously, I'm going to have some kind of bias in this video, and I'm going to um, be more on my own side than Sonic93's side, but that's obviously a given. But I do ask you guys to come up with your own uh, perspective, come up with your own uh, conclusion, and if that is for or against me, that is completely fine. Oh my god. She is insane. She thinks everyone is out to get her. She can't take criticism, and she was telling Akaya how she needed to learn how to take criticism for a year, totaling over four hours. What a fucking hypocrite. And she has the gall to say that commentator is the real hypocrite. Does she not have any self-awareness? Oh my, look at all these videos. This is this is getting really heated. What's this? Holy hell. That commentator was doxxed? Someone who was devoted to Ruth so much committed an illegal act to protect her honor? And this is all she had to say? Like her dog was just shitting in the neighbor's yard and how could she blow it off like that? I, I guess it's time to go do something else. I hope she doesn't do part three. Dunsfold didn't do anything wrong. I gotta go do something else. Uh, well, in the meantime, uh, I found some more people to watch. This bag of douche guy, he isn't too bad. I mean, he's had his start on the internet earlier than Ruth ever had. He's also a long-time internet user. His videos are also similar to other ranters, but he's actually trying to upload better quality videos with better scripts, editing, and audio. It looks like he's really trying to communicate with people that like his stuff. I mean, even though his audience is kind of small and divided, he at least tries. He's also gone after more than just Sonic fans. He's gone after e-beggars, degenerates, YouTube advertisers, art thieves, even fetish communities. And hey, he's even called out Akaya around the, around the same time. He started on this account. Because he's had so many, I guess. But not just rants, he would make silly, more laid-back content, too. Damn. Gentlemen, I have come to say the N-word. That's racist! You can't say the N-word! That's what you think, but I have also come to say the N-word. Nigga, 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 nigga,
ass too fat. Pull over that 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 ass too fat. and also animations. It looks like he's making a video on Sonic 93 as well. I can't wait whenever that comes out. I'm sure it'll be worth it. It's been silent for a while, I wonder if little Ruth is up to her bullshit again. <sighs> well, holy shit, looks like the spurgening is continuing. I don't get you, Dumbsville. Well, I guess from your perspective, it's rather hard to understand you too. Ratings look as good as ever. Let's watch this shit, nigga. I've got a perspective thanks to Bag. Anyways, before I go any further, let me just clarify one thing that people are extremely confused about and the things people have been keep asking me about on my Discord. That one being, why did you arrive this drama? I thought you learned your lesson from it, only to be shown that you haven't that going against the people who talked about you and seeing them as trolls slash haters, when all they were trying to do is to help you. Well, to sum it up what I said in my Melda Sugar Plum video, after seeing what she did to other people by harassing them with her hateful opinion towards Silver, it inspired me to talk about the drama again to justify what I said in my original video. My main problem with Melody's points wasn't the fact that she wanted to criticize him or was a different opinion from mine. The problem I had was that she sounded more hateful to him rather than a huge fan just pointing out things she didn't like about him. Not to mention that she was incredibly unfair with the things she stated. I mean, I don't know. You can kind of say the same thing about reviving dead drama for the sake of not being able to let it go. I mean, I don't know about the whole Melody situation, honestly, and I really don't care. I saw that commentator talk about what you said in that video because you deleted it and hid it from everyone else, and I agreed more with her than I would you because she sounded like she was a little more down to earth. And I have heard some people believing that she changed her mind about Silver because of me. Well, where is the proof of that statement? She herself has said that she started to hate Silver when she got to know his personality from the games. I don't see her saying anything about hating him because of me, and the comment is not too far after I made a remake video on her. And even if that was true, does that give her a reason to harass other people over it? Yeah, you didn't have the SPED squad to come back you up against a 15-year-old girl and a commentator who draws femboys. Just a robot and Lego Obi-Wan Kenobi. I mean, they are part of the 12 laborers of Hercules. I mean, fierce warriors out to come take your head. That's why you need your SPED squad to come back you up. Speaking of the SPED squad, where are they now? I thought you needed their support to help back you up here. Where are they now? Hmm. Not only that, but just because the drama died out, that doesn't mean it got solved. 
Yes, while everyone were willing to move on from it after I apologized, I myself wasn't able to because I didn't have the voice to speak and defend myself or the support I needed back when it started. You can't just expect me to move on from it while I was the one whom got the most affected by it and no one was interested to hear my side of the story. Translation. I'm gonna ride this roller coaster downward spiral to the cold bitter end. I'm completely cool with, you know, watching a shit show just cause some idiot can't let go and won't really face reality. After all, it is my drama, so I have every right to talk about it. And no one is obligated to pay attention to what I have to say or agree with what I'm doing. But there's no reason for anyone to tell me what to do and not to do just because you don't agree with my decisions. This is something I need to do in order to move on from what happened almost two years ago and I won't stop until I finished what I started. And as I have understood, People are concerned that my recent videos are going to quote unquote ruin my career and reputation and I'm just digging my own grave. Well, you see, I don't really care about the popularity and the fame, nor am I making any money out of my videos. My videos are just for fun and laughs. Nothing to do with fame and reputation. We've mentioned before that Sonic 93 likes having a sense of power. Well, the problem is, normally when she has that power, she has a power and influence for people to believe her and what she says. The problem is, that's not a thing anymore. No one wants to fucking listen to her, for the most part. She obviously has the White Knights from time to time. But now that she doesn't have all these people backing her up, and now the majority of people are against her and not with her, I think she has just said, okay, fuck it. I give up. I'm done. I'm not trying this anymore. There's no point. These people aren't going to listen to me. Well, I'll just tell you. That's a fucking lie. You see, you may not really- you like- I don't know why every YouTuber does this now. Is it just what the cool kids like to do? Oh yeah, I don't care about my reputation, bruh. I don't care about the fame. I don't care about the fortune. Yeah! I mean, fuck. I mean, fuck. Every YouTuber I've watched over the last 10 or 15 years, they do this all the time. I don't know- I don't get it. Why are you uploading to YouTube anyway? The whole entire idea is to grow an audience doing what you like doing. That's the whole point. If that's truly the case, you wouldn't have a fucking YouTube channel and you wouldn't post to your audience. You wouldn't give a shit. Remember, you had to have the sped squad to come and protect you from a 15 year old. If you really don't care about your about your fucking rep, I, I, I can't even put this into words. I I I I don't get it. I'm gonna have to go back and start watching some more Rick and Morty to catch up on that logic. <laughs> you literally said that you wouldn't continue on with the drama because you didn't have white knights to protect you. You do care, <laughs> and yeah, you use your audience as a weapon like a bunch of other faggots. You're no different. And I'm not saying out of pity or craving for attention, but I just legit don't understand why people are treating me like I mean a lot to them, and yet they don't want to hear what I have to say and automatically think I'm a crazy person just because your favorite YouTuber said so. And the fact that the negative attention I received from my Aldo Gijinka commentary video doesn't matter to me because the videos are in no intent to entertain anyone. This is just a way for me to vent and talk about my thoughts about each videos made on me. But why would you upload them in the first place? Why don't you just keep them on your hard drive or just, I don't know, run out into your car and, you know, just rant to yourself like a fucking mad woman you are. I mean, if it's truly not about the fame and the popularity, then why would you even be uploading videos to YouTube in the first place? That's the whole point of YouTube is to grow an audience just doing what you like. I've already said this before. I, <laughs> it sounds like I'm a broken record, but I don't know. Everybody's a broken record trying to get you to wake the fuck up and it's not working. And this just shows of how people are not attentive in what I'm saying or easily misinterpret it as something else. Which is why I keep getting the same criticisms that really doesn't say anything what I said in my videos or speak for my actions. 
Not only that, but a lot of the people are not even my audience and just arrive because it's a convenient event of, Oh my god, Sana 3 is doing something horrible! The one who is famous for her Kai and Yoshi rants have become the one she ranted about! But I think you'd probably be worse. Because you go after and criticize people for not listening to criticism and all this other shit. But here you are not listening to anyone. So what does that make you? You you criticize people, but you don't take any criticism yourself. What does that say? Now, with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the second video that did not make my situation any easier from the drama. The one and only, none other than Dumbsville. I will say this right here, right now. This video is not to harass him, make it look bad, make lies about him, or me throwing out everything he was trying to do for me after I apologized. This is just me basically saying my thoughts and opinions of his video on me, and the things I felt like he was saying that was very off. Besides, how can everyone feel entitled to make many videos of me for the sake of criticism, but I can't do the same thing in return? How is that fair? Like, it doesn't matter how well liked a person is, it doesn't mean they can't be criticized. Like everyone else, the famous person is still a human being and can and will make mistakes. And that is what I felt Downsville did to me. Yeah, that's true, but also, ignorance is bliss. Although, to be honest, I don't think you'd actually know that, would you? <laughs> he may have good attentions with his video on me, but... The way he handled the situation after Aldwin's video came out, and how he always told me that I had his support after I apologized, he honestly let me down a lot as a YouTuber, and I can't help but feel disappointed in him. That's right, Dumbsville. You didn't lick that pussy clean enough. Now you must be punished. Before I will go in details of why I think that, I really need to address something I've noticed. The whole situation with Dumbsville really takes me back the time where Kai had a lot of fan brats before me and Amy ranted on her. Basically, if you're pointing out something you feel someone popular does wrong, you're immediately wrong and gotta get attacked for it despite you just calling out on their bullshit. Like you and the Sped Squad fighting a 15 year old? Not to mention that we were trying as much as we could clarify that we never hated Akai and just wanted her to improve her attitude and give her criticism on her behavior and her artwork. It's also, it's also funny how like, he talks about the Akai situation and only the Akai situation where she contacted oh my her. God. I got... I cannot tell you like how annoyed I got when she brought her up yet again in a video that's supposed to be about you. She brought her up to me in our personal calls. Yeah, like uh, she sent me her porn comics and told me to make fun of them. What? <laughs> she did that. What? She did. Dude. What? Dude, dude, she, dude, she did the same things with me. Oh fuck. <laughs> Because we don't really want to see things from your perspective. Mainly because our heads don't fit that far up our asses like yours. And I am not saying that it's the exact same situation with Dumbsville, but I legit don't understand what the big deal is for me doing something that everyone else is doing. Just say my thoughts and opinions. So, you might wonder now why I feel disappointed in Dumbsville. Well, Mainly because of how he handles different situations and him as a YouTuber himself. And just to clarify one thing, everything Dumbsville feels about this whole drama, I can't understand that and he's entitled to feel whatever he feels. My issue, however, about it is that Dumbsville is too caught up what he feels and has no interest in hearing me out. Like in our Discord conversation or the call we've had back in December. And she's supposed to be a... Uh Silver Fangirl. As I understood, the reason he feels what he feels is because he thought we were close friends, and I basically quote unquote haven't moved on from the drama. Quote unquote haven't moved on from the drama. 
Why are you acting like this is some type of fucking slander or libel thing? Of course you fucking haven't. You've admitted it before. Why are you quote unquote it? You fucking idiot. And I was planning to do this all along and backstabbed him. Which he kinda is right about me wasn't able to move on from the drama. No shit. And that is why these videos are made to begin with. That way I can give myself a closure and move on from what happened almost two years ago when the first drama started. And I never quote unquote planned to do this all along throughout the time we were talking. I can literally explain everything to him if he actually wants to hear me out, but like I said, he's too caught up with his own emotions. She said that she got her closure after the video on you, but how was that closure? It didn't answer questions. It's about this whole Oh, you know what's really funny about her video on me? You know what's really hysterical about her video on me? What? Every single question she asked me in that video, she has asked me personally, and I have answered them to her <laughs> personally. And really? she's- Yes! <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. I did watch the video on her. It's fucking bullshit. And I have answered every single question to her multiple times to her face. She just refuses to accept my answer for them. And about us being quote unquote close friends, as everyone keeps saying, we weren't. We weren't as close friends as it seemed like. Once again, I'm not taking anything away he was trying to do for me, but I don't see how he thought we were so close when we barely talked, I mean, yeah, he's busy with college and stuff, I get it. But when we did, I didn't feel like we got to know each other's individuals outside of our YouTube usernames. I always keep hearing that Damso's behavior on YouTube is just a persona and he's different in person. But I have talked to him a few times and I sincerely don't sense any differences. The impression he has given to me is that is he genuine and caring or is he an arrogant douchebag? If he's an arrogant douchebag, then you're missing no bricks from your building. The evidence that he gave and seeing what she was saying to him and all the guilt tripping, it was it was disgusting. Like I've seen some of the screen I haven't seen all the screenshots, but I've seen some of them and I saw like one or two and I'm like, it's fucked up. And some people I don't know if it was you or someone else, but some people someone was like have you heard the voice files? And I'm like, no, I haven't. And they told me. Oh, the they're, they're, they're rough. They were rough. And I'm not saying that's the truth about him, but that's just the impression he has given me. With other words, Dumsville confuses me so much about what kind of person he is. I honestly can't read him. And there is one thing that truly bothers me the most that I've heard so many times of is this Dumbsville cares cared about you and he looked up to you. And as someone whose channel was heavily inspired by those Akai Dahlia and Yoshiwi One rants by Sonic93 and Amy Chan, this video really shocked me and really made me question myself a lot. I'm not gonna say he doesn't, but here's my few questions about that statement. If Dumsville truly cared about me, why didn't he try to reach to me when the drama occurred the first time? Why doesn't he show any interest in what's going on, on my side? Why didn't he make a video whining to his fans about the conversation between us? Why couldn't he want to talk to me again after he calmed down from the news of me gonna make this video? You know, since he was the one who cut ties with me. How is making the let's talk about Sonic 3 video gonna solve anything? Why is he so quick to believe that I want to hurt his feelings when I had told him in the call that this isn't about him, this is about me when it comes to this video? This is what I mean when I say I feel disappointed in him. He doesn't handle these kind of situations very well, and he comes off as extremely defensive and incredibly sensitive. And she's supposed to be a Silver Fangirl. I can't understand if Thumbs is a sensitive person, 
But you can't be a YouTuber, have 40k plus subs, and then not expect something like this to happen. You're not gonna always be liked for everything you do, just because you get endless, or at least, constant praise. I didn't force her, but, you know, I just kindly suggested, you know, hey, maybe you should take a look at it, just to see where Alduin is coming from, because I'm pretty sure she wasn't the only one with the thoughts that Alduin had. As soon as I hit the button to answer the call, as soon as, as, soon as I could hear her, the first thing I hear is screaming. Once again, I get flashbacks of when Akai was having a similar attitude with her fame. So, now that I said my short piece perspective of the whole Domsville situation, let's talk about his video. I will say that his video was much more bearable to watch than Alduin's. With her video, I barely survived without her lame, offensive jokes and that awful attitude. And she's supposed to be a Yes, Ruth, you have a much better attitude than Alduin does. Getting a sped squad to come and attack a 15-year-old. Yes, you, Ruth, you are so mature in this situation. Name the bully. The bully hunter will help you. And I don't have much to say about his video since he doesn't really go in details of my original Melody video since he did claim he couldn't find the actual video to make his own judgement and basically had only Alduin's video to go for. He mainly just talks about how me and Amy became popular and he wants us to make more rants, which I can understand that because he probably felt us making rant videos was our audience and my quote unquote downfall. So what I'm gonna do is just say one subjective opinion and two things that really bothered me the most of what he said. So let's start with the subjective opinion and that is Domsville's excessive intro. I know that's Domsville's thing to use a lot of clips and memes to describe his emotions during something he says. For me for example he feels disappointed or he feels sad. I get it. I don't see anything wrong with that. Sometimes I do the same thing with my videos, but they're just short clips. My problem is, it goes on for way too long. It took him 2 minutes and 31 seconds to finally start talking about the topic. Honestly to me, something that goes on for too long without getting to the point is making me lose interest or just wondering when the informative stuff is coming up. You spent 4 hours. Four hours in the span of a single year bitching about Akaya. And your last two videos were well over one hour over something you could have had explained in under 20 minutes. And two minutes is too much for you. I can barely make it past a few seconds of one of your own fucking videos. I have to force myself just to listen to you spurg out over nothing worthwhile. So, after a long intro, he goes on about how sad he is and how he didn't want to make the video. That, right there, is pissing me off. Because he literally didn't need to make his video on me. He could have just talked to me or at the very least trying to reach me out. And what is his reasons for not trying to reach me? He couldn't find a way to do that, and he wouldn't be comfortable to talk to me. I'll get more on that, how that is complete BS later on in his video. Okay, Dumsville. You did say I was one of your favorite Sonic YouTubers, right? Mainly because of my rants, obviously. So, do you remember in my Kai Dilia rant series, I was actually trying to talk to her about her attitude and her hate for Amy Rose before I made the series on her? I didn't give two shits of how popular she was. I saw what I felt she did was wrong, and I wanted to confront her about it. And when she didn't cooperate, then I made the rant series. If you did try to reach to me, and then didn't succeed, then I would have found your video on me more reasonable to be made. No, I didn't tell her this, but like, I, I fucking like thought to myself, every other video I've made on someone, I've never asked them permission to make a video on them. 
I never asked True Love Heart, hey, can I make a video on you talking about how you're a Toxic Sonic Amy fan? I never asked Goth Nebula. I never asked Jaws Sonic Lover. In my opinion, if you post something stupid on the internet, you should be critiqued for it. That's that's my honest opinion. When you make a video on someone, you, you don't ask them to make a video on you. And also, Just, she's a hypocrite too as well because... Uh, first, oh, yes. Right. Yeah, I know exactly what you're about to say. Yeah, yeah, because first of all, like, uh, I'm sorry, Harsh Opinions, if you're watching this and you hate me for this, but she told Harsh Opinions not to tell me that uh, she's making a video on me. And I've kept this kind of private for a long time because I, I, I didn't, like, I've, I didn't want to believe it, and I kept it in denial. But, like, I kind of have to reveal it now. Uh, Harsh ended up telling me. <laughs> and so I'm... I'm like, oh no, I didn't want to believe it. I'm like, uh, maybe it's just some rumor or something. I don't want to believe this. Then the Alduin video came out, and I'm like, oh, this is real. This is actually happening. Yeah. Um, and uh, I I was actually told that too. That is super shady right there. Like, like why? Like, why would you want it to be kept a secret when she's like, in that video, I guess, questioning you, she's like, oh, well you shouldn't be surprised and you know people should expect this what was like what was, what did she say like you should expect this despite being a big youtuber people are going to make videos on you and like oh yeah i'm going to totally so, uh, so, so couldn't you just use the same logic on sonic 93 then oh you should expect this you've got 10,000 plus subscribers you should expect this from people and oh yeah i, I want to make a quick point that if you wanted people to be on your side of the argument, and one of the problems you had with Dumbsville was that he made a video on you without asking permission, wouldn't you want to, under that logic then, take the high road and let Dumbsville know ahead of time? So Dumbsville committed a naughty and didn't get the Queen's permission to do so, huh? But hey, what about the whole Yoshi thing? Did you get his permission to make a video about him? What about Melody? Or that other person? Or that commentator, who I can't remember her fucking name? Did you get their permission too? Did you talk to them? I mean, I personally can't imagine why somebody wouldn't want to talk to you. I definitely will never so, understand how someone I thought would believe in I am so sorry about that outburst. Screaming. Now, going back to why I feel him saying he couldn't find a way to contact me or he would be uncomfortable to talk to me is complete BS. These two clips I'm gonna show you right now is saying to me the opposite of him couldn't find at least one way to contact me and the other one of the whole, I wouldn't be uncomfortable talking to you. This woman inspired you. This was your senpai. This is your senpai. Remember when Sonic 93 commented on your video, your True Love Heart Part 2 video? That was an epic Fortnite win. For real, that was like a moment where I was freaking out. That was one of the happiest moments for me, seeing a YouTuber you look up to comment on your video. This is a person who has inspired me. This is a person who I look up to, for real. I would often dream of collaborating with this person. N no joke, I'm serious right now. I've talked to her in the comments before. She's a genuinely cool person. She's super sweet and super nice. Sonic93, if you're watching this, um, I'd be down to collab. All right, Dumbsville, I need to ask you this because this doesn't add up at all. You said in our Discord conversation that you couldn't find a way to contact me and you wouldn't be comfortable to talk to me. But you literally could respond to that comment I made of your True Love on 94 video and just say something like, Hey Sonic 93, I've heard some drama going on with you and is it alright if we talk about this? I've been hearing some things about it and I want to help you. That's what Nani did. 
She may have made a video on me, but the reason I was comfortable to talk to her was because she legit offered to help me, and I would have went for it if I wasn't encouraged. And you didn't listen to her either. So what's the point of fucking talking to you? Screaming. Also, you never clarified on why you would be uncomfortable to talk to me. Why would you feel uncomfortable to talk to someone who inspired you, like you always keep mentioning? I was your senpai, me commenting on one of your videos was one of your happiest moments, and you were freaking out about it, and I'm a genuinely cool person, super sweet and super nice. Not to mention that after I apologized, you then decided to want to talk to me. So, you think making a video about me is better than to reach me out? Or at least try to reach me before making the video. Not only that, but you're completely fine with the idea of collaborating with me, but you can't talk to me directly about something you feel I did something wrong? What the fuck? Because even whenever they do offer to talk to you, you still don't listen. Maybe Dumbsville's having second thoughts about his senpai, though. I mean, he spoke very highly of you. He said you were a nice person. You're not. He said that you were kind. You're not. He said that you're one of the coolest people on the platform. You're not. And he's reconsidering his priorities right now. How could I be a fan of such a fucking idiot? Is probably rushing through his head right now. I mean, I've been through the same thing with people like Youngblood Fantasy and Darkness the Curse and a few other ones. He's going through it right now. And really made me question myself a lot. The realization that your favorite YouTuber happens to be a fucking cunt. A mentally unhinged, arrogant fucking cunt. Wow. This might be one of the most insulting things I've ever heard. I was your better, Dumbsville. You were a clit licker of mine. I created you. And now you're turning your back on me like this. Disgusting. How dare you. Well, I've hit my point on stupid today. All courtesy of Ruth and her fucking stupid mouth. Well, I'm gonna go do something else. Fucking anything but sit at this damn desk. Well, you know what? Let's scroll down and let's go read these comments. I mean, I've looked glossed over some of these comments before. You know what? Let's just, let's check them out. Let's see who's, who's... Wait a minute. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Who's that down there? That's... That's... That's Akaya. That's Akaya Dahlia. That's... That's that woman that Ruth made 10, 11 videos about. Criticizing her for almost four hours. And... And here she is. Here she is, dissing Ruth. And and people are agreeing with her. Uh, oh my god. Huh. I don't understand, like, why she's still not getting it. Like, she... All these people are telling her what's happened, like, what she's doing wrong, but she still thinks she did nothing wrong. People like that, I think, will never get it. Uh, I don't I don't have an answer as to why, because I'm obviously not one of those people, but I just, I, I don't think she'll ever get it. Hey, wait a minute. I, I'm searching her name. Where is she? Uh, uh, I, I gotta find out what happened to her. Um... There's gotta be some answers here somewhere. Oh well, here's a here's one of Bag's videos. I guess I'll just watch this. I mean, it's gonna be the about about the exact same thing if she, you know, made a normal video. Hey, what's that? She deleted. She deleted her account. Wait. What? I I thought she said she didn't care about. All this negative attention. Huh. You know, part three was up for a good few weeks. 
And look, it, it, all these parts are being mirrored too. Huh. So, she, she said that she didn't really care about her reputation online, but now her account is gone. Well, hmm. I don't know. Maybe somebody was being mean to her and they were making threats to her and she nuked everything. Like, why would you delete a channel with over almost 14,000 subscribers? I mean, it, it just seems, it just doesn't seem right. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I hope she's safe and all, but... What a story. What a rot. Just a just another rise and fall story of a YouTuber that seemingly was on top of the world in their genre. And they come falling back down. I mean... This... This is sad. This is really sad. So, what are my final thoughts on Sonic 93? Well, I guess my thoughts are much different from everyone else. She's an unhinged, mentally retarded little girl in an almost 30-year-old woman's body with no self-awareness or sense. But I've known this for years. I knew it deep down. And my first clue was the 11 part Akaya rant series. That's not normal. Take a moment to think about this. A 30 year old woman is grooming children to defend her from criticism from a 15 year old. And if they don't do exactly what she wants, she screams at them like a tone deaf bobcat in the middle of the night. And people like to compare this to Melody, supposedly using others to defend her. Like it's even comparable. Akaya wouldn't do this. That woman gave Ruth an audience in the first place. And gave her endless shit for being your average Sonic fan on DeviantArt. For almost a year and onward for her behavior, her character, and connections. Ruth is worse. In every single way. Jane never made a career out of screaming about people no better than her. Even Ruth's closest friends, not just Amy Chan, but also Sprite, who is essentially like Randall from Recess, and Ruth is Miss Finster. People despise Sprite for kissing her ass, but it looks like he's turned to the other side. If someone who's that big of a clit licker is fucking off, you're fucking up. Jane's friends, for the most part, didn't leave her over the drama. And to add salt into an open wound, Jane herself is laughing. She even favorited my early script for this video, although she did unfavorite it a while later. That makes me sad. So I take full responsibility for her getting in on this. You can send my trophy and my cash prize to my hoose. Mm. Anyway, you know you fucked up when the person you hated on for years is calling you a retard and people agree more with her than you. Now, why are you agreeing with Jane even though you made a video about her too, right? Yeah. What do you think about her now? Mm, not much different. I mean, I never hated her or anything. I just had problems with some of the things she did. But in comparison with Ruth, Jane has nothing on her. I mean, I got a decent channel boost whenever I made my video about her. Which wasn't my intention as I didn't even know she was a bandwagon at the time. My channel went from zero, because it was my new account, to 500 in about a year. It's a stretch to say this, but me and Ruth share the same audience. I know I said some critical stuff towards Jane, but that's all in the past. It's old and done with, and I am totally willing to bury the hatchet to laugh with her on this and everyone else. 
Ruth's time is up. Not only is her channel gone, but her reputation has crumbled. And for all the right reasons. She is mentally unstable, untrustworthy, and completely delusional. And a total hypocrite to say the least. But above all else, she's a lost cause. The best term to describe her. She won't change without the will to and professional help. Judging by her actions though, this won't happen. And honestly, I like it this way. I love a good shit show. I, I enjoyed every second of this entire thing. Her accounts may be gone, but you have to understand the internet. When people delete their accounts, they always come back. Whether she'll come back, whether she'll come back under a completely new name or a more familiar one or it's just completely unknown. But she will, mark my words. But don't worry. Don't worry, Ruth. When people discover your new location and it's confirmed it's you, this shit show will come right back where you left it off. Who knows, maybe she'll come back with a hit list to take care of us. Well, good luck with that shit, retard. The others and I will be waiting to put you back in your self-made grave. If she does come back, I know for a fact that I am not scared of her. And I will say that right now. Because I am not afraid of her at all. And I think that's one thing to note, to put a foot down against someone like that. That's bravery. I'm not afraid of her. I'm not scared of her at all. If she comes to me, I will come back the Dumbsville way. And I will come back at her full force if she, comes, if she tries to come to me again. If she tries to come back to me again. Or comes back to fight me again. I'm going to come back full force Dumbsville style. You know? Sonic93, Ruth, you are the worst of the rant community. And I can't believe I'm making that statement. Because just like I said at the beginning, the rant community is like a middle school kid hiding in their pillow fort, making fun of everyone else. They'll tell you how to feel and how to think without ever knowing who they really are until their fort comes crashing down. From whatever method it comes down, you'll get to see who they truly are. Speaking of closure, um, I think also throughout this whole one, one video, kind of two part interview, I, I hope we got our own closure through this as well. And hopefully, obviously people can vent about it, people can talk about it. But in the end, hopefully, this will be the last time I talk about this issue because I really don't want to talk about this ever again. And I think that, um, yeah. I think that everyone here... Uh, hopefully we learned a lot about moving on and just having one last final uh, just discussion about it. Just discussing, hey, this all happened. Now we can move on to greater things, you know? Right. Like, I, this is the only time I'm ever going to talk about this publicly because after this, I, I'm, I'm never bringing her up again. I want nothing to do with her ever again. I mean, as I said, I, I don't hate her. I wish her the best in life. But, you know, if she does try to change someday, like, good for her. But too much damage has been done. I, I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to want anything to do with her anymore. Not after all she's done. Right. It's really sad to think about, but at the same time, I'm what I'm really glad about is that all of us had closure from, true closure from this. She probably will never get closure, but all of us accepted this is the way she is. She's a lost cause. Nothing can really be done anymore. And at this point, it's best for us to be our own people. I am kind of afraid of what this might do coming out speaking like this but at the same time I'm glad that I can finally address it I'd say at like, least the best I could right I'd say like real bravery is just being able to openly discuss it and 
being able to say things that not other that that might be you know that might be shocking to a lot of people but this isn't like this isn't even saying things that are controversial we've already kind of this is saying things that we need to know and this is really brave of you to discuss this in a format that you're not too comfortable with and i cannot thank you enough for coming out here today and discussing this with us Oh, and uh, OBD96, I left a response to on YouTube, but they keep deleting my fucking comments, so let me just do it here. Stop fucking comparing Melody's actions with Ruth's. You look like a fucking white knight. I mean, you've done it on mine in the archives I posted. They are not fucking comparable. Even if you just bring them up, it doesn't matter what Melody's done. Ruth is twice her age. Woe is me, the 15-year-old made fun of me.